In this video, I will be covering application, purpose, operation, and diagnostics of the electronic fuel pump. A fuel pump is used in fuel injected engines as well as in diesel engines. Its purpose is to provide pressurized fuel from the fuel tank all the way to the fuel rail at various pressures depending on driving conditions. It is most commonly located in the gas tank at the rear of the vehicle. Here I have a fuel pump from an early 1990s Ford Ranger. As the fuel is being pulled in from the fuel tank, it is filtered through this strainer to keep away contaminants and debris. As the fuel pump is being energized, an armature starts to spin, which then spins a roller vane and a turbine creating pressure inside the pump. The pump's mechanisms include pressure relief valve to ensure that the system is not overpressurized and a check valve to maintain pressure for long periods of time. As the pressure builds, fuel is being sent up this hose which commonly leaks and you'll have a low fuel pressure condition. Fuel is then led out of this outlet line and into the fuel rail. Here is your return line. Most returnless systems will not have this return line. On the other side over here, we have the fuel sending unit, which consists of this wiper arm and a floater that read across a variable resistor. This resistor will send back information back to the gauge depending on your fuel level. And that is how the fuel pump works. Fuel pump failures include lack of lubrication and cooling to the fuel pump, Driving the car on an empty tank all the time will result in premature fuel pump failure. Contamination and debris may also cause a fuel pump to fail. The fuel pump hose in the tank can leak over time which will cause a low fuel pressure condition. The commutator bars may wear out over time causing low speed and low current. Symptoms may include a very loud whining, prolonged cranking, and poor acceleration or no start condition. Here is a 2004 GMC Envoy. Now if you take out the, the fuel cap, you could actually listen to the fuel pump energize. Now if you don't hear that fuel pump energize, then you might have a problem. First off, start off by checking your fuse or your fuel pump relay. And make sure you have power going to the fuel pump. On this 2004 GMC Envoy, I looked up the specifications for the fuel pressure and it is between 50 to 57 PSI. Now I hooked up this pressure fuel gauge already and as you could tell the PSI is well over that and is about 60 to 63 PSI. This might be an indication of a faulty pressure relief valve. This is how you check fuel pressure with a fuel pressure gauge. Here's one way to check your sending unit for proper operation using a multimeter. Here this floater and this arm right across is a variable resistor which interprets fuel level. It then sends that information back to your fuel gauge. I have hooked up one of my leads to my signal and one to ground. Now let's take a look at the multimeter. When testing this, this component, make sure that you're on the ohm setting to check for resistance. As the floater goes down, the resistance value will also go down and vice versa. As the floater goes up, imitating full fuel level, the resistance value will go up. Thank you very much for watching.